Saturating functions are central to mathematical biology. Saturating functions grow and then they level off. And they can describe a large variety of different things. Often the shapes of saturating functions are very similar, but the meanings can be very different. And so over here, consider the consumption rate of prey by their predator. When there's no prey, the rate of consumption is zero. And when there's very many prey, the predators are eating as fast as they can. And so even when the prey density increases, they can't consume any faster. And so the shape of the curve is something that grows and then levels off like this. This consumption rate curve is often referred to as a type 2 functional response by mathematical ecologists. If I were interested in the rate of a chemical reaction as a function of the substrate concentration, a substrate is an element that goes into the reaction, I would often use what's called a Michaelis-Menten growth curve. When there's no substrate, there's no reaction. And when substrate concentrations are very high, the reaction goes to a very high level, but then levels off. And so the shape of the curve is the same. It grows and then gradually levels off as the substrate concentration becomes very high. If we're interested in the size of a fish versus age, we might use what's called the von Bertalanffy growth curve. Here, a fish starts at size L0, and as time progresses, the fish gets larger, but eventually it levels off and gets no larger and approaches L infinity. So you see, we have three very different applications, but the functions are really very similar. And these are some functions that we'll see throughout the course.